Um, we have quite a bit more around the maintenance manager, the workers, uh, the teams, and uh, if I'm drilling into the maintenance manager report, I'll get an overview of all of my work orders in this time frame I've uh, selected here. I can see how many I'm creating, how many I'm completing uh, month over month. And like I said, it's demo data. So it's, it's maybe a little bit of an unrealistic uh, look at, at data I'm having here. Um, but if, if, if this was real life data, it might jump to my attention that I'm doing a lot of corrective uh, work orders and uh, less, less preventive. I do have 30% of my work orders are preventive though. Um, and maybe I want to now take more of a, uh, a kind of a, a, a rare mirror look at, at my work orders and look at all of those that I've already completed. So I could use a filter up here and say, I want to look at those that are no longer active, that's been closed out. And then I can see that my portion of preventive dropped to now less than 17%. So it appears like I have to be uh, uh, kind of reactive and, and take care of a lot of corrective work orders. And then the uh, preventive work orders is kind of suffering uh, under that. Um, so maybe that's a little bit of a concern. If I just eyeball it here, it looks like I'm like 140% or so over on my, uh, my actual uh, work hours compared to the schedule hours. So that's definitely something that's, that's raising a red flag. And here I'm using color coding also to say that the, the biggest red flag literally is, is these two work orders, work orders number 104 and 106 that were open for 10 days and went 120 plus hours over my, uh, my scheduled, uh, what should have been just about a week's worth of, of work turned into uh, to more like four weeks. Um, so that's some of the things I have here in a, in a canned analysis. And then of course I could now look up these two work orders in, uh, in AX, or since we are shipping this product with the data model and, and, and access for, for you guys to work with the uh, data model, I could shed a little more light straight inside of my, my Power BI uh, desktop here and say, okay, I wanted to see who actually created these work orders and then address my concerns with the, uh, the individual that created um, the big culprits here. So I could do that in, in, in a few different ways, but maybe I'll just go ahead and copy this object here, this table by control C, control V. And then I get a copy of my, my uh, work orders by work order type. And then I'll just open up my toolbox here and drop my work order type. And then I'll pull in from my fields. So you can see we have a fairly elaborate uh, data model around everything uh, EAM. So functional location, workers, job trade, uh, and so forth. And let's just go ahead and search for created by. And then I'll pull the created by from my work order because I'm, I'm looking at the work order business area right now. So I'll just check mark that and flip it up here so it looks nice. And hide my toolbox again. So now let's take a look at 104 holding down control so I can choose 104 and 106. I can, and I can see that both were created by Wesley Nelson and uh, both were corrective work orders. Um, so I might want to just address these two that, that really uh, took a lot of my, uh, my time with uh, Wesley. So that was you know, one way of working with a, a canned dashboard.